Yo, uh, Jeff T here, uh, Monkey Like Shiny, doing like a check in. It's been a while since I've actually done a YouTube video, so I figured it's about time to um, check out, see what's going on. Tom Lipton's always doing videos, so I gotta, gotta get back in the swing of things. He's, uh, he's got a crazy amount of followers now. Oxtools.com. Um, but, uh, but yeah, basically just checking in. Um, but you know, back on the speed bike, uh, things are going pretty good. It's it's been pretty wild because I started this project probably like I don't know maybe three years ago, and it was just kind of a project between my brother and I just for fun, and uh, kind of started to take it over. So I built the frame about three two two years ago, I'd say, and uh, and it's super wild. The idea behind it is it's um, it's a hub steer bike concept high speed track bike um, just something different no one's seen yet so the frame is all 4130 chromoly uh, machined everything up pretty much bent all the tubes um, I don't know it's uh, it's been a project in the works but uh, but you know I started it when I didn't have a CNC machine um, now I have a CNC machine here I have a like a retrofitted Bridgeport knee mill which is uh, Pretty cool. It's uh, you know, it's not like your crazy fancy Haas or anything brand new, but um, it does have a uh, does have a touch screen. Built all that out. Uh, the neat part about it is it has the memory to run like super long tool paths, and uh, it's got three axes, which is critical. So the third axis is in your uh, in the quill, and it's got uh, X and Y. And then the neat part about it is it also has a knee. Uh, just like a standard Bridgeport mill, which is actually really, really cool for um, doing prototypes and stuff. If you're if you're working around a part, you can actually raise and lower the knee as it's milling around. Uh, that way, you create a webbing from the part dropping out or starting to move. So it actually has a few advantages over a uh, Haas for prototyping, but um, <laughs> whatever. It's still it's still old machine, and it you know it's doing its job. It does a good job. And uh, kind of started teaming up with all kinds of different people, and one of the people I started teaming up with is uh, is Autodesk, and um, start using Inventor for a lot of stuff. Inventor's super cool, and then also uh, there's uh, Cam 360, and there's also Inventor Cam, and SolidWorks has a Cam package called HSM Works, and so I've been using all three of those just to kind of test it out, run it on my machine, run it on Haas's, run it on all kinds of different machines. But um, the idea with this bike is to build it all basically using my tools, not to job out anything. It's a concept bike, so why not? Um, one of the cool parts about it is I can run long enough lines of code in it to actually do crazy tool paths. So uh, just an example, show you some of the stuff I've been building um, using HSM and uh, and uh, like uh, Cam 360. One of the cool parts, uh, it's the front hub. So did all the mill, did all the, the actual turning on a on a Haas. Um, my buddy Liam helped me out on it a while back. Did uh, the HSM works uh, lathe. This is kind of a wild cut down into the into the pocket. And then what I did was um, came back through and I designed all this stuff and did a uh, did a bolt pattern around it. And then radial machined it using using a ball end mill, basically scooping out the whole inside of it. Then made it so I could mount a disc brake rotor on it. So this is the front end. Uh, this is 7075 machined super well. This will be like the front hub of this concept bike. Uh, so that's the first part of it. Then uh, then the next project I worked on uh, using HSM was um, starting out with like a big old honking block of titanium, 6'4". Uh, it's it's not, not very light as much as you'd like to think that the titanium is light. But, um, but I machined it out and uh, did a radial path on this, starting with some different style to it. Uh, but yeah, basically made the kingpin for the front steering assembly. Um, this, will, this will be the steering link between um, between the hub and then this will also be down here it will be all tucked in this thing will all this will be 
This would be your saving grace basically on everything. And one of the neat parts about it is I actually like integrated a, a, a disc brake radial tab on, on the rear of it to mount up. So at 6.4, then this started out as this huge block and it's just like, you know, it's, it's not the quickest job on this machine just because I don't have flood coolant, but um, you know, titanium is an interesting thing to machine. So uh, just take your time and you know, it's, it's hard because sometimes your brain gets in these things where you want to machine everything really fast and surprisingly titanium is a very slow thing to machine and you run it really, really slow. So it's kind of, this machine actually like is almost just as fast as a Haas other than the coolant part. I mean, I could speed up a little bit more if I had flood coolant, but honestly it gets the job done. Gets it done just as quick as a Haas almost. Uh, so that was that was the titanium parts. Some other little cool parts that I machined up using uh, like the Cam 360 and the HSM. And I jumped back and forth between it just because I like to test everything and uh, super into like all the new Cam packages. The crazy part about it is it's all integrated. So like I can draw something on the computer and then jump back and forth between doing tool paths. Just an example, like I machined these out of 4130 chromoly. And uh, and basically, I like the bearing wasn't fitting. This this the front end bearing assembly. It wasn't fitting properly on it. And so what I had to do is I basically had to go back do a, do a sweep cut on it. And uh, it was a little bit different geometry I wanted anyway. So I was able just to go back in the model and change the model. It took a few seconds to change the model, and then also uh, basically from changing the model, it updated my tool paths, and I was able to just dump it right back into G-code and put it right into the machine. So pretty neat that it, like it's so streamlined. It's getting way better every every year. Like and now with like Inventor and all the different CAM packages like linking up with HSM, it's even getting better and better because it's I can jump between using Inventor and SolidWorks and Fusion and everything and all the CAMs are all different, like all the same and instead of having all these different different cam packages. I have one like standardized like HSM based uh, like cam package which is super awesome. So yeah, depends on what I'm doing. I'm doing like museum stuff where I'm using lots of inventor or at my personal shop and I'm using inventor. I have inventor cam and uh, infusion like uh, 360 cam and then if I use SOLIDWORKS I have HSM, which is the exact same, so it's it's super quick. Like, doesn't matter what program I'm running, but, um, but yeah, been super stoked. So, kind of a blessing in disguise to actually like take a break. I think from working on this thing and get the CNC machine and a bunch of other stuff. So, should be coming along. I got most of the parts all cut. Start putting everything together. Just gotta make a seat for it and front assembly here. Um, one of the other cool things I made. Was these uh, was these mirror dropouts um, pretty rad? Because they just they bolt onto the back. That's this side. So yeah, bolt onto the back. I put a I put a, a coupler in the back here for a belt drive. So that's also a reason why this is good that these bolt on. Uh, when you actually disassemble, these become like a structural member for the belt drive. So um, but yeah the. Front sprockets design, gonna have to buy a giant block of 7075 to machine that out. That one's gonna be a whole whole nother thing. Expect something you haven't ever seen before for the crank setup, so I'm really excited about that. It's all drawn, but uh, it's a little bit bigger than I can do on the machine here, so probably gonna have to call in some favors. But uh, but overall, it's been going good. Um, just wanted to do an update, just to let everyone know that still building away, just don't make as many videos as Tom does, so, uh, yeah, check out the blog, if not, like, I don't know, check out wherever, Instagram, whatever, mom's posting up pictures, so, super cool, but, uh, yeah, stay tuned.